four identical resistors, each of resistance R, are connected as shown. What is the effective resistance between P and Q? So you may notice that if we consider P and Q, this one and these three resistors are in parallel and we can draw it like this P1 and 1, 2, 3. And how to find the effective uh, resistance? It's quite easy. We can consider these three, they are in series, and to find uh, the resultant resistance for uh, three resistors in a series is just the sum, so we can consider them as one but of resistance uh, uh, 3R, and this has resistance of R. And then this one and this one are in what parallel, and for parallel we apply formula 1 over R total is equal to 1 over R1, which is R, plus 1 over 3R, because we consider the 3 as 1, but with resistance of 3R. And just common denominator on the right-hand side is 3R, 3 plus 1, 4, and then RT is 3R over 4. So it's A. The next conductor X is connected to a cell of EMF E. A power of 16 watts is dissipated in X. Conductor Y is made from the same material with the same diameter as X, but is twice as long. A cell of EMF to E is connected to Y. Both have negligible internal resistance. What power is dissipated in Y? So, what are formulas for power? It's current times voltage or current squared times resistance or voltage squared over resistance. And since uh, uh, length is involved, we know that what resistance is resistivity, length divided by cross-sectional area. And, and if we consider conductor X and this 16 can be found as, if we consider this formula, since there are no um, uh, any other conductors or resistors in series and also internal resistance is uh, negligible voltage across X is directly EMF so if we use this formula it becomes E squared over resistance but we need uh, lengths uh, to be involved so we can uh, rewrite uh, resistance like this it's resistivity L and divided by cross-sectional area, so it goes up. And for Y, for Y we need power to be calculated, and it becomes uh, the same formula, voltage, but voltage is 2E and squared, so it becomes 4E squared, and also div uh, divided by R, and I is this rho L over A. Rho, uh, it's the same as for X, so it's rho. Length, is uh, two times larger, so if L for X, so for Y it becomes 2L, and then uh, divided by cross-sectional area is the same because diameter is the same, so A is the same. And you may what uh, just uh, divide left-hand sides and right-hand sides, or you may substitute, substitute what? That E squared uh, times A over rho L is what is 16, so power becomes, and uh, uh, 4 over 2 it's 2, E squared A over rho L, and it is equal to 16, so it becomes 2 times 16, which is 32 watts. So it's C. And that's all for this question.